I want to go back. He wants to go back. I want to go back to the farm. Back far away from home. With a milk pail on my arm. I miss the rooster, the one that used to wake me up at 4 a.m. Down on the farm. Hi, I'm Scott Bame. They call me the old farmer. I was curious about the Bauer oscillating edge belt and spindle sander. Say that five times fast. And I wanted a stationary sander to help me finish some of my projects. Without the coupon, the green version of the Bauer oscillating edge belt and spindle sander from Grizzly was cheaper. I did order the Bauer sander using a coupon online and it came within a few days. I appreciate that. As usual, the instructions are confusing and incomplete to the point of being frustrating. There is no spindle for the half-inch spindle sander, even though there is a place for holding one on the front of the sander. We are to place it directly onto the spindle without the rubber part that goes in and then you put the sanding tube over the top of it and use a provided nut to hold everything in place. This doesn't make any sense to me, even though it may work. There seems to be more than ample power to do the sanding and the tabletop is nice and sturdy and larger than it appears to be from the photos. There is a removable piece to brace the work against for sanding that I think we should have the ability to attach a better guide fence or something to the tabletop, similar to what we find in a sacrificial fence with a table saw. We gave our old Chicago electric 10-inch miter saw to Habitat for Humanity. I wanted to mount the sander to the movable base that it had been on but the sander was way too large to fit, so I cut a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that was an extra piece left over from the construction of the Hercules 12-inch miter saw workstation and screwed it to the base. Even though it looks like it will overextend, it was well inside the wheelbase that I had built for the stand. The base is very stable for the sander and easily rolls around without being tipsy. I have a small Chicago electric shop vac that sits easily under the stand below the sander. This means I can leave the vacuum attached. And if I attach a power strip to the stand, I can then turn on both the vac and the sander at the same time. I would like manufacturers and those brands that purchase products from OEM manufacturers to add two things to all the tools that are standalone or tabletop tools. I would like to see a dual plug set far enough apart for holding two wall warts and heavy enough circuits to be able to plug a vac into the unit so that the power switch for the tool will turn on anything plugged into the tool sockets. And the second thing is a safety light that is very, very obvious and will light up every time the machine is turned on. We won't need the light for something like a miter saw. Once you let go of the handle, the saw stops. But for those things that need a deliberate act to turn off the machine, we should have a safety light bright enough so it can be seen easily without giving us a sunburn. Unless someone purchases something like an eye socket, Folks may just run everything off of a power strip switch to turn things on and off. So build it so we have the same thing built into the machine. It may mean you will have to change out a 15 amp switch for a 20 amp switch. But it shows that extra safety has been added to the tool so that a workaround, which could be unsafe, 
will not be needed. The next is for Eric Schmidt, the owner of Harbor Freight. He should be made aware that the inherent flaws in the purchasing process of Harbor Freight may be making folks walk away from Harbor Freight because of negative experiences. These customers are almost impossible to get back because they feel like they've been tricked or burned by Harbor Freight. As much as I can say that is positive about the performance of the Bauer Oscillating Edge Belt and Spindle Sander and the other Harbor Freight new line of tools, I have to bring up these very serious negatives about Harbor Freight marketing because I also feel like I have been burned. These issues have been brought up by other channels and needs to be addressed more strongly to make sure you, Eric Schmidt, understand that if Harbor Freight continues with its marketing policies, it won't mean a darn thing offering coupons if folks refuse to buy because they felt they have been stung by Harbor Freight. So if anyone from Harbor Freight is watching, make sure Mr. Schmidt sees this part of the video, please. I live 45 minutes from the closest Harbor Freight store. What does this mean in miles? It means we cannot drive there in a hybrid car and back on electric. It switches to gas because the batteries have been depleted because of the long distances we must travel. There is also the continuing issue with COVID and being that both Mrs. Old Farmer and I are senior citizens, we need to take extra precautions. There can be a health risk for our coming to a Harbor Freight store. Sometimes we do, but we are more and more concerned about the safety coming to the store and are buying more online. We bought the Bauer Oscillating Edge Belt and Spindle Sander online with a 20% off coupon for Inside Track members. The coupon says we will receive 20% off, but it became a 15% coupon because when bought online to support Harbor Freight, it is only 15%. We then came back a few days later to put an extended service protection plan on the sander with an online purchase. We looked through the website and finally called Tech Support. This is what it says on the Harbor Freight website. It's a screen grab. When we called reaching a very pleasant young lady, she said she and those answering the phone are very frustrated because Harbor Freight will not sell a protection plan over the phone or online. I live in the state of Michigan. If the Attorney General Office gets wind of this, they will stick a crowbar into Mr. Smith's wallet and pry a lot of money from Mr. Smith's wallet for false advertising. I'm sure this is true with other states. Not only the possibility of heavy fines from government agencies, I myself, the next two products, similar to a Bauer Oscillating Edge Belt and Spindle Sander, will not be from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight will lose the income from two such purchases and also from the extended protection plans for those two purchases. To be perfectly honest, it's my firm belief that there are some in the marketing department that are actively out to harm Harbor Freight by frustrating the customer base enough so they will walk away from buying from Harbor Freight. So Mr. Schmidt, fix your d company or sell it. I'm sorry sir, but this problem has gone on far too long to be further ignored. I'm not going to contact the Michigan Attorney General's office about what would be considered false advertising but they may find out on their own. I do like many of your products and enjoy dealing with those working for Harbor Freight. We are talking only a few dollars, but I think of it as you're trying to levy a fine against me for not going to your store. Fix your company, please. So let us at least end on a happier note. 
the Bauer Oscillating Edge Belt and Spindle Sander, I think you will like it as much as I do. And I haven't found any negatives yet with a Hercules 12-inch miter saw either. They're both good products. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bain. Be well.